Oh, look at that. Seven of eight in the queue. That's what you want to see. It gives you just enough time to prepare mentally. Whereas if it said uh, eight, of, you know, if you just go right into it immediately, that's just overwhelming. And then I need time to recover mentally. I have to reset the old sub goal as we take Black Lotus. That's the hotness. <laughs> that's... Uh, seven of eight is my favorite board. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's just, just slightly below seven of nine. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, Solitude's very good. Leveler is pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, I guess we'll just start with the Black Lotus. That's how we do it here in Black Lotus Town. You don't like it? Hit the bricks. Seven eight as a ratio is more than seven of nine. Yes, that's true. Seven of seven is even more. That's been a little math lesson for you guys. The the smaller the second number gets, the bigger the number gets. Ooh, I like a sneak attack. Teferi. Oh, I put too much in. That's too much. Do I like Sneak Attack more than Teferi? In my mind, those are the two. The two uh, contestants here. Do you like winning? Yes, which is why I'm considering both Sneak Attack and Teferi. So apparently in the 80s, a place sold a one-third pound burger. Oh yeah, this is this is a yeah, this is a well-known fact. Yeah, no one bought it because they thought one third was smaller than one fourth. I believe that was uh Hardy's or Carl's Jr. No sneak? Well, you want me to take a worse card? I took sneak. You know why? Cause I don't, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a part of your system. Let me see. One third burger story. A and W. It was A and W. That's what it was. Yeah. The truth about A and W's third pound burger and the major math mix up. <laughs> That's funny. It turns out a majority of participants incorrectly believed one third of a pound was actually smaller than a quarter of a pound. Dude, America has, has the dumbest human beings on the planet. We're might wheel. I don't think we're a workshop deck. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of like Trump and Carnosaur here, though. He's cool to sneak, right? I like a seething song too. Are we just red? We're just like mono red. If you go Lotus into seething song into sneak attack, you can do it on that on that turn. Yeah, I'm just taking seething song. We're just gonna take the red cards. What's the problem? I like treachery. Inti's really good too. What is that? What is that word you censored? <laughs> what what ends with a C? I don't even know what that is. Don't commit to... I'm, I'm not committing. I'm literally taking the, the cards I want to take. <laughs> That's just how drafting works. Oh, dot deck. That's, that is what it did, yeah. <sighs> Treachery or Inti? I think we're going to take Treachery here. Got to be a second color. Ulamog is actually exactly what we want. That's great. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, a Time Warp? Okay. All right. Time Warp and Treachery? All right. We're living it. Brazen Barber? Sure. Oh, Cityscape Leveler? 
Can we go sneak attack? Sure. Uh, our first whiff, possibly. I don't think it's Pentad Prism. I also don't think it's Rabbit Battery. Whatever, I'll take the Prism for now. Uh, it doesn't work when it enters the battlefield, but it works when you attack, so it still does half of the of the abilities. And just to be clear, one one of two is smaller than one of one. So half is as a fraction is less than one slash one one of one. This is confusing. I'm confused. I, I have confused myself. But this is a pretty sick start for a for a blue red deck. I'm pretty okay with it. Oh wow. We still get more cards. I'll take intuition here. Probably better than outcome. For me, anyway. I'm not a paradoxical, paradoxical outcome player, you see. Interesting. Simic Growth Chamber and Copperline Gorge both allow us to splash green pretty easily. I'll take Soul Guy Lantern for the little board, the little sideborg. Speaking of borgs, now we got some sideborg cards. Oh, and a Valakut. That's interesting. <sighs> oh, an Archon of Cruelty and a channel. Stuart loves channel. I love Archon of Cruelty though. That's a that's a sneaker if I ever saw one. <laughs> yes, channel Ulamog, that is a thing. So is channel cityscape leveler, but double green mana. A little rough. A little rough for you. Father does like cruelty. As awkward as that sounds. Yeah, I'm going to take the cruel. The cruel boy. Oh, fury? Oh, that's nice. I do like a good fury. Let's get furied. Uh, five mana slots filling up quick. Expressive iteration also very nice. Force of negation pretty good. I do think we want Fury though. That card's just busted, especially off of sneak attack. Just put that dude into play. You know, here's a demonic tutor, which is very good. I like demonic tutor a lot, especially in decks where you want to get combo pieces like sneak attack. I also really like Gut. I think you have to get Gut early to kind of build around. Metamorph is cool. If we sneak something in, we can Metamorph it. I think that's better than like just dipping into black here. And messing up our mana base. Woodfall Prime is pretty good with sneak attack. We're also obviously hoping for a Through the Breach. Otherwise, a lot of these cards become uncastable. Fire Ice is good. What do we have? Three sneakers right now? Ledger Shredder is also pretty good. Let's take the Ledger Shredder. Oh, Triplicate Titan's also... Yeah, Triplicate Titan's also an option. This pack's actually pretty good. If Triplicate Titan, Woodfall Primus, Fire Ice, Mystical Tutor, or Arc Trail returns, I'll be pretty much fine with that. There it is. Ah, <laughs> yes. That's exactly what we wanted. We wanted that second way to get these guys into play. Okay, Caracas, Chandra, and Miscalc. I actually kind of like Caracas because, yeah, you can bounce your guy after Through the Breach or after Sneak Attack, which is pretty good. But we can only bounce Ulamog right now because the other two are not legendary. Hmm. 
Meanwhile, Chandra's just good. So is Miss Calc. All right, we're just taking Kragus. I don't love it because it's not, like, I, I really just don't love taking off color land that it's just colorless. <sighs> Bone Crusher is probably just good. I don't think we're an upheaval deck. We only have Pentad, Prism, and Lotus right now. I think we're just taking Bone Crusher as a guy. Inferno Titan is cool, but like, I don't think we need more expensive guys. Oh, Snap is nice. I do like having a, a little Snapper. Get a little Snapper, you know? Seal of Removal, you're okay. Could just take Waterlogged Grove and then also still keep green open just a little bit. I like Seal of Removal though, Seal of Removal's fine. Well, that's not ideal. Escape is neat. Sail into the West, let's take a Sail into the West here. Hmm. Okay, so nothing, looks like nothing really came back. I'll just take Phyrexian Revoker. Oh, Arc Trail? Nah. That's fine, I guess. Bitter Triumph is very good. I'm going to take out the Seal here. I mean, this is still looking pretty decent. Sundering Titan? Okay. I would absolutely love some lands that actually fix our mana. That would be great. <laughs> What's going on over here? Getting into trouble? No. Never. Never. I feel like we've we've picked up Time Walk a lot. I feel like Ancestral is probably... We're probably due for an Ancestral. Or a Mox Sapphire. I would actually love some on-color on -color dual lands. Because right now it's looking a little... Looking a little rough. I don't know if we're Intuitioning either. Intuition's cute, but... Look, we can take... Look. Look. We can take Recall. Sure. That's fine. I'll allow it. It was nothing. It was none of those things. Dagnabbit. I almost feel like it's just Talisman here, which is really sad. <sighs> Cryptic Command's nice. It might come back because four mana is just a th th triple green, rather. Or triple... <laughs> we'll get it right. Triple blue is actually pretty prohibitive. Uh, Battle Sphere coming back would also be fine. I'm going to take the Talisman, though. I think Cryptic is underwhelming because the, the cube is just so much faster now. Like, they just keep adding, like, cheap one mana. Oh, Misty Rainforest. You're interesting if we get... <sighs> this pack actually has a couple hits. Ponder, Misty Rainforest, Atali. Misty doesn't do anything right now. We kind of have to hope for either a green, red land. Like, if the Taiga comes back, it's decent. Atali is also just good. Like, I kind of just want this because I feel like it's... It's going to lead... Like, if, if Taiga comes back, this becomes a dual land. Because it can get a red land. I'm going to take the... I'm going to take the Misty Rainforest. There's Sylvan Library, which we can now easily cast... Off of our Misty Rainforest. And an Ugin in the same pack? Wow. What a pack, you know? <laughs> what a pack. Oh. Sylvan is kind of like fixing, unless you get stuck. I'm going to take the Sylvan, and if this breeding pool comes back, maybe we're in for it. You know what? I'm doing it for Lil' Stuart. Tundra. You don't do anything, do you? You don't do anything, do you, Tundra? It gets us white? 
That's not exciting. Displacer kitten, you're not really exciting either. Unless I choose to blink one of these guys after... Let's take Displacer Kitten, and maybe we can blink one of the guys we cheat into play. Thank you! Oh, Stuart, the five gifted subs, because... Because I, <laughs> I took Lil Sylvie. Thank you! Ooh, I like a Dak Faden. Ooh, that guy's a... That guy's a beast. Actually, he's probably a human thief. I don't know if thief is a, a creature type, actually, so... Yeah, we'll just take Dak Faden. Still, still kind of holding out hope for that uh, volcanic island slash steam vents. Thank you. I don't know if it's even in here. Is it just Gruel Turf? I guess. Thank you. Yeah, this pack's pretty underwhelming. Could be Pyromancer. Yeah, you take those subs back. Don't threaten me with a good time, buddy. How was that a good time? I don't know. Omen for Valakut is actually interesting. Unfortunately, it's green. I, I don't really feel like playing another green card. This is probably not even making the cut, to be honest. I don't think we're going to get it. That's really sad. This pack is also really sad. I guess Fire Blast? That seems terrible. <sighs> Exhausting. Hey! Wow, that's really good! Oh, man, that's the best Triome we could have asked for. Oh, wow. That's really sweet. That's exciting. This pack, however, not very, not very exciting. Uh, Carry Zev? Overgrown Tomb? No, it's got to be just the card we can play. Oh, good. This guy came. Oh, Atali came back? Oh, my God. That's exciting. So if I cut these three, we're actually only one over. So we can probably just cut Sylvan Library here. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, the Breeding Pool came back. Oh, this is very good. All right. Um, none of these cards are exciting. I'll take Delphin, I guess. Doesn't matter. Um, Endural? That's a card we can play, I guess. Oh, wow. Prismatic Omen came back. It's definitely more reasonable to cast it now. Endural's out. Carry Zev is out. This is out. You're definitely out. Tribal Flames is out. This is 24. Prismatic Omen also lets us cast Archon of Cruelty at some point. We do have Pentad Prism as well. And Lotus. Don't forget Lotus. Don't forget that Lotus. This is tempting with Valakut for sure. <laughs> don't forget Lotus. I did forget about the Lotus. No, don't. Don't do it. Displacer Kitten's super interesting. Yeah, it doesn't belong in the main deck. It's not a it's not a main deck card. You just board it in against certain matchups. Oh, Fire Blast is a pretty easy cut here. <sighs> yeah, this actually seems our mana base seems really good. Do we just play Omen and Valakut? The problem is Omen doesn't do anything without Valakut, and Valakut's not super exciting on its own. Plus it doesn't work until turn six. I think this just this is just an excuse to put in another color, another another card rather. Omen fixes mana, but by the time we have green to cast Omen, our mana's probably fine. Eighteen land seems terrible with two bounce lands. Typically in draft formats, when you have two bounce lands, you play sixteen lands. You go down lands, not up, because bounce lands usually double as lands. If you have a land and a bounce land in your opening hand, then you have three mana. Sail into the West is tempting. What's that journey to the West? <laughs> it's just a, it's just a time twister. Each player can choose whether they ship their hand or don't ship their hand. 
and draw seven new seven new baby boys. <laughs> oh, here, hold on. Let me see if I can make it all bigger for you guys. That's too big. I just like want, I just want all the cards to fit on the. No, stop going. I want I want the cards to fit on the same screen. That's all. I don't like having to scroll to see more cards. And ideally, the scroll bar goes away. That's the, that's the world I want to live in. But maybe it just never goes away? Hold on. Oh, wow. It doesn't go away till... What? Why does it start there? That's weird. Okay. Well, whatever they want to do, I guess. <sighs> An iPod Nano. I bought 110 inch OLED. That's a nice that's a nice OLED. I don't believe you bought that though. <laughs> I don't want to laugh at all these <laughs> these comments about the interface, man. Uh, yeah, that's the other thing I was thinking. Like, with the Prismatic Omen, if we put in uh, Sundering Titan, we're just going to have to sack at least one of our lands. <sighs> My team, I've been so congested recently. Uh, just, it's really it's really tough because we have a bunch of, like, really low cards in our sideboard. We have a lot of fixing for green here. I wish we had better green options. Look at this. We have six green, not including Pentad and Lotus. For just Sylvan Library, you know? <laughs> Time to change the furnace. I feel like it was changed fairly recently. Well, to be fair, this update was, like, still, like, 14 years ago, you know? <sighs> it might just be seal of removal, like, just as early interaction. Like, that kind of feels fine. Yeah, let's do this. Intuition, are you a thing that we care about? Like, I can't even imagine what I put in the graveyard. Like, Archon, Cityscape, and Ulamog, they would just give me the, the worst one. They'd give me, like, Cityscape, probably, in hand. To throw the Breach or sneak attack it. And then we have no way to get the other ones back. So it's not like it's... Yeah, alright. We'll run it like this with 16 lands and a Lotus. Sort by color. Great. Dead even. Okay. So, blue, everything, everything, nothing. Okay, so we have, we have no way to search for red. Oh, we do. We, we have Catcher of Triumph, so that's good. Okay. So, we're not going to play any black. Thank you. What is this? Red, we have one, two, three, four. Blue, we have one, two, three, four. Okay, great. We're even. So then we get four and four. What's the one more? Is it a red or is it a blue? It's probably red because once we get Triome, this can only search for blue. This can search for three blue cards and only one, two red cards. So I think it's just red. Plus we want to have more red for things like uh, sneak attack anyway. So, all right. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Oh, we're playing against Peepaw. That's great. Oh, that's not great. Where's the lands? Hey, where's the lands? I will also mulligan to six. That's a keeper. What do we ship here? Breeding pool, probably? Probably. 
Yeah, I could ship a breeding pool. We already have our green, we have our red, we have our blue. What did we take instead of channel? I don't know, something unexciting, but channel was not our, not our, not our wheelhouse. I still don't think it is. Like, I still don't think getting two green is reasonable with six green sources. And I don't really want to, like, up the count to anything significant that would... That would make it castable. <clears throat> oh, wow. Look at this guy. Mox Diamond. Do you have a land as well? Okay. They didn't do anything. I don't get it. Fury. <coughs> okay, well. Hmm. I am. I'm just going to leave with Island here. Would you guys have really kept that one lander? That's pretty funny. La pizza, I did, I did. It was last May though, so you're a little behind. It's been like eight months. Is that correct? Oh, get something. I don't care. I'm just gonna bounce whatever you get, unless it's a. I played this instead of gorge. Oh well, that's pretty good. <sighs> Fucking Christ. Yep, that's what I was saying. I was literally saying I played this instead of gorge. Um so that I wouldn't get wastelanded. And now they're playing this guy. So we're just gonna get wastelanded. Great. And now we no longer have, that was on top as well. So cool. <laughs> it had to be on top of their deck. It had to be the exact card they had and it had to be on top of their deck because it wasn't in hand. So fantastic. Black Lotus. Okay. Well, I guess if we can take a few hits, we're okay. <sighs> should have just led with the gorge. I knew I should have led with the gorge, and I felt stupid for not. Lotus. Sure. I want that lotus. Someone's at the door. Let's see who it is. It was the Amazon man. Hello, Amazon man. Let's just bounce you and pass, I guess. <sighs> I mean, once they tinkered, I was like, okay, well, if they get Sundering... <laughs> so, it's all for nothing. It all it all doesn't matter. <laughs> Fantastic. They had it all, so what was the difference? I, I couldn't win. <sighs> Lord. mountain <laughs> so like yeah we're doing good here and by that i mean we've just lost so that's great wonderful <laughs> yeah good times well Not much we can do about that, except cross our fingers. Like, Revoker doesn't shut down Bolus's Citadel. It doesn't shut down Tinker. Yep. What does Revoker do? <laughs> 
I think it's funny that I'm listing the things Roker doesn't do and Josh is like, Revoker! And I'm like, no, 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 no. I think we're keeping this. We can go get Triome, which is great because if they uh, play their Sundering Titan, it kills uh, all of our lands at that point, I'm sure. But we get to play this guy and we have this into this at some point, so... Have you tried asking your opponent to not blow up your lands? Well, Nicholas, you've been here the whole time, so you tell me if I did that. You didn't. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I didn't. Should I write in the chat, please don't blow up my lands this time? I mean, I don't want another island, so I have to get Trium, but it kind of sucks because we know they have Wasteland, so. What are you going to do? What are you going to What are you gonna do, you know? Hey, what are you going to do? Put, put a little bird on it. <sighs> well, of course I'd say please. I'm not a maniac. There it is. Never fails. Never fucking fails. All right. Well, <laughs> uh, knew it was going to happen. We were like, well, we run the risk of getting wastelanded because they're going to have it. And then they had it. So that was cool. I mean, I'm not going to metamorph this guy. Next turn, we're just going to play through the breach. And then we're going to through the breach this guy, and then we're going to copy it. Not through the breach, sneak attack. So, you know, assuming nothing goes wrong in the next two turns. They didn't do anything. Fascinating. Oh, they're doing something now. Got it. Well, knock yourself out. So long, little sneaker. Oh, they took the big, they took the big dog. Okie dokie. Alternatively, we could have played Talisman and then copied our Ledger Shredder or over their Vendillion Click, which I think is also reasonable. And then we would have gotten a trigger from this guy. And then next turn, we could just play this and activate. <sighs> My hopes are a little higher, though, that there's something good coming down, you know? Oh, they didn't attack. They don't want to trade? Well... Seal of Removal, Discard Mountain. Who do we copy? Metamorph Talisman and draw two cards? How does that work? <laughs> I feel like that does not work the way you think it works. Tinker, Bolus's Citadel, Sail into the West. Well, I'm definitely, you're definitely going to sail into the west, I assume. But now you don't. But I don't want you to have Tinker, right? Like, I'd rather draw new cards. We took an extra point here, but that's okay. Oh, you're thinking copy first, then play Talisman? How would we have drawn two, though? Oh, because the we would have had a second Ledger Shredder. Yeah, that would have been smarter. I agree with you. 
I, I, I think I went into this not knowing what our exact plan was going to be. So now they're going to sail because their hand is pretty bad. Assuming. I don't want them to get an artifact and then tinker because then they literally just uh, get Sundering Titan and destroy three of our lands, which is not ideal. <clears throat> and if we bounce Sundering Titan, they just get all of our cards. Or all of our lands, rather. So they played an island. Huh. Well, sure. Oh, that's fascinating. So we know they have Odawara, Sail to the West, the card they drew. Okay. Oh, we can snap that guy back <laughs> and then time walk. Let's do that. Oh, we just win the game? <laughs> okay. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, we would have snapped this guy back, then time warped, then done it again. That was pretty good. Yeah, still don't think Revoker sees anything. We did have Seal on the field. That's true. I was kind of interested in discarding, or in, in using more cards in hand, though, because they have Sail into the West. So the fewer cards I have, the better. Sideboard out of the non-basics is good. That's smart. I like it. <laughs> uh, well, I think we're just shipping like this again. What if we drew that Lotus once? Wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> Revoke. <laughs> oh, look at that. We did it. Our hand's not great, but it's actually not terrible. Turn two prism into like Lotus is, that's a lot of mana. Oh, they mulled a five on the draw, on the play rather. That's pretty good. We got that big Lotes. Lotes my goats. You think they're going to wasteland this? 100%. 100% of the time, they wasteland it every time. There it is. <laughs> oh, every game. Every single game. Yep. It's good times, huh? Well, we do have to play Lotus here. Because otherwise we have to discard. Do we want to do anything, though? No, not really. I don't think it's worth, like, not doing anything here. Alright. I hope they don't have any artifact removal, because that would be really sad. It looks like we Gucci. They're going to have Vendillion click, I bet. Because they always have Vendillion Click. Fantastic. Just have the same cards every game. Just make sure we play against the same exact cards. Every single game. So I'm glad we played Lotus here. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have taken anything either, actually. Because our hand doesn't do much right now, but it's missing, like, maybe one component. Wait, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This just lets us cast Archon next turn, actually. Let's not get dazed, I guess.
Let's drop seal. I think dropping seal here is better than not dropping seal. <sighs> Crack Lotus, pay for days. <laughs> 4D chess over here, my dude. I mean, do, they, do we think they have a counter spell? That's the question, I guess. Oh, wow. They're just going to tap out for something. Oh, that's just fine. Oh. Oh, that's fine. What? What? Is this real? All right. Black. And they go down to one card. We could also just cast this guy next turn. That's pretty cool. <laughs> or we can time walk. Yeah, this game seems like it's over if they can't deal with this guy. And if they try to do anything, we just... Like, if they try to treachery it. Even if they try to kill it, we're just going to bounce it. Uh, sh sure. <laughs> Let's hit through the breach off this Carnosaur. Oh, sneak! <laughs> All right. <laughs> that seems good for us. They have one card in hand, and we know it's Chrome Host Seed Shark. And now they're... Uh... What if we give you the older through the breach? Wow, that went really well. That was fantastic. Okie dokie, artichokey. I think this is fine. It's a little expensive. It's not the best, but we're on the draw. If we hit a lotus. Okay, quick, ask for no land destruction. Okay, they get to hit Archon or Ulamog. Sure. Archon is the correct choice. I, I agree with that. Rackus. So you chose this really, really sweet promo island and then this kind of weird swamp. I don't know how I feel about it. I think I'm just looking at the the modern frame and it's just just off-putting to me. You're going to counter my seal? You know, I had a feeling you would not. What is their name? Sasquatch Secondo or Sasquatch Two Endo? I don't actually know. Hard to say. Now they can put their own Archon in the graveyard. Or Gristlebrand. Those are my two guesses. Is this an Apex Swamp? Hmm. Astral Dragon. Fascinating. Shallow Grave. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> What are we going to do? You know? Copies of Ketria Triome. Uh, 
We'll take four and then never see the dragon again, I guess. I'll never see you again. Well, all right. It's going a little slow here. Let's get rid of one now. They don't need to have extra mana next turn. It's too bad this can't hit the same thing twice. Then it would just be like strictly better like Searing Spear. I have not seen John's latest video. He also did not, he never followed me back on Twitter, which is... Kind of rude. And you told me he would. You were like, do it. He'll follow you. And I was like, I don't think so. And then he never did. It felt like he would, right? It made sense. I was like, yeah, this seems logical. <clears throat> this guy. I mean, I hope they're not waiting for me to, to take down that shield, because that would be really disappointing. Lion's Eye Diamond. They just played the Lion's Eye Diamond with nothing to do with the Lion's Eye Diamond. Can I just steal it? <clears throat> that seems good, right? This guy float. This is a flying token land creature forest island mountain dragon. <laughs> Jesus, what a fucking mouthful. <sighs> Do we just steal their land and then untap it? That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Well, now we can't attack. Wait, did we not do it? I don't know if we did it. So, one, two, three, four, five... One, two. Uh, sure. Are they just planning to block and kill? What? No blocks. Fascinating. I'm tempted to blink Treachery to steal the Bowmasters. I did not plan that out well, but that's okay. Uh, steal this. Uh, two and one, I guess. No, it's better you go to your face here, I guess. Two and one. Oh, through the breach. And that's sad. I guess we keep Ledger Shredder. Uh, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not going to do anything, though, right? I mean, I do think Breach is a, a reasonable keep, but the problem is they've already Arch exiled Archon. Nothing. Crystal Brand. Are we just gonna... What? Did they know we had this? This seems like an interesting choice. Uh, okay. I do remember when we tried to draw 10 when our opponent had Leovold and we were like, oh no, what happened? Where are the cards? Okay, well, we have a 7-7 seven, seven and a deck that makes you draw two and three power to finish you off. Putrid Imp. Okay. Discard Triplicate Titan. Okay. Exhume. Uh, okay. This is all fine. I do wish I kept the Ulmog. For obvious reasons. Can't we just Dak and steal the triple get Titan? Like, <laughs> that seems good. All right. Well, what were we drawn? That went pretty well, I think. Revoker. Actually, Revoker might be decent here. So might Soul Guide Lantern. Let's bring Soul Guide and Revoker in. Yeah, I've I think Displacer Kitten is great in the right decks. Like it's super fun when you're blinking planeswalkers or creatures that have enters the battlefield abilities. Like I added it to my own cube because I do think it's I think it has a lot of cool synergies. What to take out though? I really don't know. Maybe seal? Just take out Sylvan Library because it's not very good. That was a little joke. Hey, he got jokes. I think Seal might be better than Snap. Maybe not. I don't know. These are both... Both fine. <sighs> like, what do we name? We would name Bristlebrand, obviously, but... I think it's fine without that. We can just Soul Guide Lantern.
What does this hand do? It's kind of slow. Caracas and Ketria Triumph is decent. We're on the draw. We have four, five, six, seven. If we hit Lotus, it's pretty decent. Look at these two dinosaurs in the same exact position. Get really mad to the left. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> this one is by Lars Grant West. This one is by Ryan Pancoast. Both, both very, uh, I'll, I'm gonna keep it. Like we're on the draw. I think this hand is very iffy, but I think Caracas does a lot of work and catch your try on, make sure we have all of our colors. See, there you go, that's what we're looking for. That's what father likes. If we top deck a Lotus here, then there's no problem whatsoever, you know? That's an Archonic Cruelty. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm hearing what you're saying. Oh my god, what's the self got him? Oh, that is me and... Oh my god, how did you find this? Lotus? Talisman. That's close to a Lotus. A Clotus, if you will. Wow, my hair's looking great in that pick. I need to screenshot that and be like, do what you did here. Look at this guy. They're going to discard something fat. And then they're going to reanimate it. It said that 90% of the of men can't find the Clotus. Man, they're always... Oh, can we discard something? No, this is exile. I wish this was discard so badly. Dang it. I think my hair looks better now? Really? Look at all this mana they have. All I need is that Clotus. That ain't the Clotus. Archon and Time Warp. Leaving me with solid red cards all around. Warp has 79, 10 damage, huh? Need a land. There's the Clotus. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight mana total, huh? Do we just cast a Tali? Feels like we kind of have to here. We need we need extra hits. Three red. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sam. Bone Crusher Giant and Inquisition. Inquisition you. Blink. Uh, can we stomp something? So what do we have? We have six total damage here, so we can kill the two two of these guys. Uh, so done, right? Blink you. 
blink you. This is actually insane. Hit two more. Collective Brutality and Place Sneak Attack. Uh, cast this just as normal. I mean, this is just going to do a million things, isn't it? I don't think we're disc... This is actually kind of tricky. This, this stack is going to get really convoluted in a minute. Um, let's just reveal your hand. What is it? Choose target opponent. Them. And what is my card? Where did it go? Oh, a sneak attack. So I'm done, right? Blink this guy. Blink this guy. Is this infinite? Like, this is pretty close to infinite, right? Resolve. Um, bone shards. Sylvan Library. Look at that. We get to cast a Sylvan Library. We get to discard a card. Let's discard through the breach. This is insane, right? Okay. Dreams, look at your hand, snap, back to reality, oops, the goes gravity. This is hitting that guy, this is hitting you. So we'll just bounce this guy. And now we get to untap two lands as well. When do we just let this resolve? <laughs> oh lord. Oh, Metamorph? That's pretty good. Oh, Show and Tell? That's pretty good. Yeah, let's... Sh oh, we just win. <laughs> I'll Show and Tell. I'll put Trumpeting Carnosaur into play. I'll Phyrexia Metamorph. I'll copy the Carnosaur. Okie dokie. That's a hell of a stack. Wow, Displacer Kitten and Detali is pretty insane. This deck has been pretty sweet so far. All right, let's see if we can 3-0 this bish. Oh, look at that. That's a turn two. That's a turn two Sylvanos. This is, this is for little Stewie. They're going to turn one Wasteland us, though. So we're playing against Plump Ket. He's not fat. He's just plump, okay? <laughs> so Chan Chan is my friend Jason Chandler uh, and I call him Chan Chan because it's funny uh, he says Chan Chan is screaming because I'm playing <laughs> that's, that's hilarious what a good time oh look it's my it's my dear wife my wife oh no oh no this is dangerous Red. Oh, Lumby. Oh, I might just arc trail that guy. That guy's dangerous. Two and one. That guy's got to go. I don't even have a response. I just feel terrible now. Oh, I keep forgetting. Okay. 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 Well... If we can hit something off of this, I think we're in good shape.
that's fine. All right, so we get to look at the top three to find something for one of these sweet guys. If we hit a land and a big guy, we're taking them both. Hello? Is that my dear? You're not even visible. Oh, you want a little hug? Okay. Hug time. Love you. What time is your thing? Seven. Oh, that's late. I'm going early so that I get all the good food before it leaves. Okay, well, that's good strategy. Are you winning, son? I'm on game match three. And maybe, you know? Who's to say? I see a time warp and a black lotus. Are those cards good? I mean, so no, I've heard. And through the breach and sneak attack all in one hand, huh? I'm good at this game. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> What's our play here? I think we're just... I think we're just sneak attacking this cityscape leveler, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's You're definitely doing that. I'm going to go lay in the bed because my head hurts. Okay. I understand. Love you. Love you, babe. Um... So let's Lotus Potus. Four red, another red, Sneaker Eaker. Let's put this guy into play. We'll attack Duretti. Is this non creature? Non land. Great. Kill this guy. So that seems okay. We can also unearth this guy at some point. Oh, I'm getting an... This says U of South Florida. I wonder what... It, I wonder if that's legitimate, and I wonder what they want. Serious questions, everyone. Serious questions. Well, they do have two cards in hand, but no more Duretti. And all their lands are not every color anymore. So that's good. Porcelain Legionnaire. Alright, so we get two new looks here, which is nice. What does Lil Kitten do? I'm definitely taking four again. I think we just go Shredder and Talisman here. Put you on top. Pay four to keep you. So let's go Shredder. Land. Talisman. I feel like it's safe to probably discard Kitten here. Actually, it's safe to discard through the breach. We already have sneak attack on board. So that's much smarter. Let's do the smarter thing. And now we have a good blocker here. One, two, three, four. We're five. This is eight. That's good for us. I feel like we're way ahead right now. That's... Oh, there it is. There's your... <laughs> There's your papa. <laughs> oh! Okay, well, we're paying four again. Oh, oh, I was going to put it, I was going to double, no, that wouldn't have even worked. We shouldn't have done that. That would have made us kill one of them. <laughs> that's not, that's not how that worked. Now I'm getting a call from Clearwater, Florida. Literally two Florida numbers back to back. I wonder. You ever Google these numbers when people call you? Let me, let me check this. This University of, of South, this USF number. Hi, this is the Alumni Association. We wanted you to give us some money. Digital Engagement Center, giving to USF. <laughs> 
That could be it. Do you have your phone number on here? And, and is this it? That's kind of funny. Contact us. Let's see. Uh, so that's not the same number, but it's still funny that it came up. Um, Revoker shuts off Duretti. I don't think we're a Soul Guide Lantern. It also shuts off Mox Diamond, which is interesting. <sighs> Do I care enough about that? Let's take out Snap, put it in Revoker, I guess. Sylvan Library did some work there. We took 12 damage off of Sylvan Library. Uh, this hand is pretty decent. We'll, we'll take this and we got a, we got a Shredder. All right, and away we go. Look at this Valakut. Valakut, first turn. It's very clear what's happening here. That guy again, huh? Arc Trail. Dang it, kitten. Well, let's get busy shredding, I guess. We got Pentad Prism and Lotus. Where's our Pentad Prism? We haven't drawn that guy in a hot minute. Yeah, I'm a Googler. <laughs> There's a lot of mana, right? Five? I think this is five. Six. One, two, three. Four. Let's make three. Dude, this guy's a fucking beast. Well, I wish I could discard two cards. Unfortunately, I cannot. Um. Well, I think we're just going to copy this guy and kill the Lumberjack next turn. I got another call, seriously? <sighs> I think it's just land here. We have two more turns worth of lands. And this guy's gonna die anyway to a glory bringer. Goodbye, little little ledgy. That's interesting. And we'll kill the old Lumby Jack. Old Lumber Jackson. Lotus next turn would be pretty sick. We can blink this guy, copy the Lotus, cast one of these two. It was not. It was not a Lotus. Well, this guy just dies. This is an artifact, right? No? Okay. It's not legendary? No? Okay. Dak also just dies, but he does give us 
mana first. Or, you know, cards first is what I meant to say. Unfortunately, we can't steal anything. I think we just Dak here. Mm, time Warp is nice. So I assume they're just going to kill Dak. We can easily discard one land and probably level her here. Well, I kept this up in case we drew something we wanted to play, like Seal of Removal. But I, I don't think they're going to play anything that we're really threatened about with four mana on their turn. That's legendary. Like, that seems pretty unlikely. All the legendary creatures I'm much more afraid of at higher mana values. I'm going to eat my words, though, aren't I? No, that's fine. So next turn we untap, we get to Time Warp. And then if we untap with another land, we get to Trumpeting Carnosaur, which is pretty good. Yep. Revoker. Attack Duretti. They also have two cards. So as long as we can like survive and find an answer for this, this glory bringer. I'm trying to rip the land, man. I swear to you. Through the breach kind of does it. Actually, how much damage is that? That's 11 damage. Arc Trail? What does that do? Uh, two and one. Puts them to three? That's pretty good. Oh, what up, Jano? Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Between totally normal human beings in 2024. <laughs> yes, totally normal. So they can't attack with this, otherwise they just die. I allow the blue because vintage is basically blue and pals. What's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure seeing you, my dude. Vintage cube, otherwise known as blue and pals. This guy has been doing some work, man. Something good. It's, it's not great. Fascinating. I mean, I think we just attack and trade with both of these. And then we can go Talisman into Pla Displacer Kitten. Oh, you're going to do something. Nature's Claim. Interesting. Well, that's pretty bad. No, don't like that. I mean, the thing about Kitten here is that if we just play it, They have to kill it, so it does give us, like, an extra turn. Uh, I don't know if that's good or not. <laughs> it's 
So this is this is what Stuart just sent me. And it's called Affinity Secret Supercomputer. When Affinity Secret Supercomputer enters the battlefield, choose a card name. Search the top half of your library, round it up for a card with that name. Reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle. I think I found the clip. <laughs> you know, to be fair, uh, this would probably search the whole library, to be honest. So just let the kitten die? <laughs> when did you become so evil? <laughs> Well, you see, Primeval Titan, that's pretty good. Walking Ballista, okay, that's fine. Oh, they didn't attack. They have the fear in them, I think, which is okay. We'll play Revoki. We're definitely playing Breeding Pool here. Because if we hit eight, we just get Cityscape Leveler, so. And this guy has Trample. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, we're one man away from just, so we can cast anything in our deck other than Archon and Ulamog. So we'll probably draw those first, just to get them out of the way. Oh, they're, 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 they're doing seven now. That's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty good. I assume they're going to destroy that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they're getting aggressive now. Land? Sylvan Library! <laughs> the worst possible draw. Oh, Lord. Well... There it is. There it is. <laughs> uh, okay, they didn't kill it, though. That's surprising. Hmm. Is it because they're casting Crater Hoof? No, Primeval Titan? I guess they just kill us with that. Four, five, six. Yeah, this is, this is lethal. We take six, then they attack us for five, and they shoot us. Man, that's pretty good. Yep. Wait, what? Wait, what happened to the other triggers? Wait, this is not lethal. Now it's lethal. Oh, wait, no, we have Caracas. Okay, four, five, six. We're not dead yet. Oh boy. What do we go? Three? Four? Seal of removal. Followed by Ulamog and Brazen Borrower. Those do not do it. Man, that eighth land was not forthcoming. Karma for the kitty. Wow. You are being you are being a real monster today. Alright, I think we're just gonna play like this. We could also be Valakutting, but we're more reliant on just putting the lands into play. On the play, I'll keep this. It's a lot of mana. Plus, any red source just turns on our whole hand. Seal of removal here lets us play seal, and then... That's not a red source. All right. So Red Source, we play Dak Faden. Their deck isn't super fast, so that's decent. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, I was wondering. I'm like, wait, what happened to the other triggers? So when it resolved, 
they did not have the triggers in play. Oh, come on. Wow. I would have loved that talisman. Well, if they play Questing Beast, we can seal their talisman and then bounce it, so. Does not look like that's what they're doing. That's fine. Okay. Well, that is interesting. Yeah, if we did this last turn, it would have been so much better if this was just an untapped red source, which is literally every other red source in our deck. Uh, it's small things like that where you're like, well, that's going to cost us the game, I think. Because, like, I wish we could bounce this guy and also Dak Faden. I mean, I kind of just want to draw here, but they can always activate Raging Ravine, so... Doesn't feel good. If we had Seal instead of Brazen Bar, or like, there's so many little things. If Caracas could bounce a, a legendary permanent rather than just a creature, that would be great. We really wish Magic was a different game. This is six mana, though, so we can just play Carnosaur next turn. That's kind of cool. We should make our own magic. The real friends are the magic we made along the way. What is this? Oh, Nissa? Yeah, that's pretty good. Well, that's sad if you kill my talisman, but Nissa's only going to be like three. I would probably make 4-4 four, four here. Well, well, look who's back. Young Bird himself. Yep, okay. That's what we figured. She's at 3. Yeah, that's fine. Arc Trail does kill her, <laughs> so that's good. We could actually Arc Trail to kill this and then Carnosaur to kill this, but we're so close to casting Carnosaur that it's less fun to do. Oh, sneak attack. But we only have one red now. That's sad. Well, shooty booties. I still think we do that. Any one red, and we have Sneak Attack into Archon and Cityscape Leveler. But we have to get this off the board, right? Oh, we don't have we don't have the double red, <laughs> so we can't do that, actually. Silly me. Well, shooty McBooties, as they say. We're just going to go red, one. Arc Trail, two to you, one to your face. And then we can just keep Borrower up. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, we're just going to bounce this guy now. Okay, Wasteland on top. That's terrifying. Oh, they just get to play it now? Yeah, that sucks. Yep, that's probably going to be the game. Oh, that's not the one I would have killed. Okay, so still one red puts us live. Fantastic. <laughs> that's just fantastic. Um... Say Raging Ravine, I guess. I don't know. Nope, it's not land. We can't do that. I actually have no idea what to name here. <sighs> I 
Casting sneak probably would have been better. I, I think I'm just fairly tilted. Yeah, there's just nothing nothing great to cast off this. And a name off this. Like, uh, not having a second red this game has been pretty fucking stupid, I'll be honest. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they have Duretti. <laughs> I should just cast the sneak, but we saw nature's claim in the first game. So like, I really just didn't want to expose this to like a nature's claim and we're going to take 10 next turn. No eight, unless they cast primeval Titan, get Valakut and land. I don't know, man. I'll say Ren. I don't think it's, I don't think it's great, but Oh, they did cast Duretti. You're right, because we got the Glorybringer. That's true. Yeah, I don't care about Duretti as much as, like, oh, like Ren getting back Wasteland would just actually win the game on the spot. But with this, I thought Duretti was the previous round. There's the Nature's Claim. <laughs> so, yeah. Two, three, four. Four. Watch, it's going to be Duretti. And then we're all going to have a good laugh. Walking Ballista. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Just have it all. It's okay. We'll top deck a Lotus. We'll, we'll be fine. Jesus Christ. Well, oh, that's not a Lotus. Great. Fantastic. Thanks for watching, guys. Deck was pretty good. Really felt good about it. But not being able to draw lands and then having all your lands destroyed is just not very fun. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.